Hello everyone, George here, and in this video series, we're going to start off by setting up our environment for using OpenCV with Python. Now in this series, I'm going to be using the Anaconda Toolkit to actually be helping us out with setting up an environment inside of Python. Now I actually have lots of different projects that I'm doing, and a lot of them might conflict. That is, I have some projects that use earlier versions of Python and later versions of Python, and some have different things imported and not imported, so I want to keep them all separate. And using Anaconda is a great way to do that. And and it's also free to use, so why not use it? So we're going to start off by typing into your browser, Anaconda, and then what we want to do is do cloud after that. There it is at the top. If you happen to just type in Anaconda, you might find a music video or two that uh, has nothing to do with it. But let's go ahead and open that on up and then go to download Anaconda. You are going to scroll on down and choose the platform that you want to support. I'm going to be working with Python 3.6 because 3. Point, you know, Python 3 is the one that's continuing to move forward, whereas 2.7 is, is done. So for that reason, I'm going to keep using the later version. Let's go ahead and I'm going to choose a 64-bit graphical installer. And of course, if you would like to, you can provide your own information. I'm not going to be doing that at this time. Now all you need to do is wait for Anaconda to download, and then we're going to start the installation part. All right, Anaconda finished. I'm going to go ahead and click on Anaconda and then we're going to walk through installing. All right, so here we are. Let's go to next. It's going to ask us to uh, read this. Of course, read through it at your own leisure. I agree. We're going to choose, I'm just going to do it for me. And we choose the directory that we're going to install it to. Change this if you have some different directory that you want it to install to. Otherwise, this one's just fine. Hit next. And it's going to ask you if you want to add it to your path environment variable. This is optional for you. It's not recommended, you can see here. I've added it without any real problems before. All it means is that you can start up Anaconda from the command line by going to your Windows prompt, typing in CMD, and then doing something like uh, Conda. You can see that it knew what I was doing. It understands what Conda is, and the tools available for installing packages or removing them are all there to use. I'm going to just say, no thanks. I am going to register Anaconda as my default version and then hit install. Now that Anaconda installation has completed, we can go ahead and hit next. It's going to ask you if you want to install something for Visual Studio Code. We won't be using anything like that in this case, so I'm just going to skip it. And then finally, we're all done. So I'm going to uncheck these because I don't need to bring up any information on those. Finish. Now the next part is actually creating an Anaconda environment that's going to hold everything that we're going to be working with. In our case, we're going to be working with OpenCV and Python version 3.6. So those are the minimum things that I'm going to need inside that environment that I have. So let's go over here to start. And the easiest way is to scroll on down to Anaconda. So there we go, Anaconda 3. And inside of here are going to be a bunch of different options for us. There's two ways of doing this, like I mentioned. One is using the Anaconda Navigator, and the other one is actually doing Command Line. And we're going to use both. So the first thing I'm going to do is click right here for Anaconda Prompt. That's going to load up the command line for us. We know we're in Anaconda Prompt because we have one. It says it up there at the top. We also have in front of the directory that we're currently in this area right here called Base. Now, if we go ahead, we can create our own environment using the Conda keyword. So conda create and then dash dash name and then finally the name of our environment. We're going to call that OpenCV for, for this. And then we can also optionally say what version of Python we want to install with it. And I'm going to say 3.6 and hit enter. Anaconda is going to do a lot of hard work for us. It's going to tell us basically what it needs to do to get our environment up and running with this. It does a search for what we wrote in there, which was Python 3.6. It tells us what packages it's going to download and which ones are going to be installed right here. So we can see we have Python, we have pip, we have a whole bunch of other ones. We're going to hit yes and hit enter and let that finish. Great. So that's that set up. Now, in order to work within that environment, we need to activate it. And that's really easy. All we need to type is activate and then open CV, whatever we named it, and hit enter. And now we know we're within that environment because it says so right here at the very beginning. Instead of it saying base, we're now in OpenCV. At this point, we can start adding in different packages that we want to work with. The first package that we want to deal with, well, that's going to be OpenCV. 
And the great thing about working with Anaconda here is that it's going to take a look at all the dependencies required to get OpenCV to work and automatically install them for us. So it's always a good idea to start with the biggest package you want to, the one that seems like it's, it's the focus of your work, and then add additional packages as you see fit. So let's go ahead and type in Conda, install, I'm going to type in OpenCV, and hit enter. It's also going to find the one that works with your version of Python and everything else. So if you're working with different versions of Python and you notice that maybe um, packages aren't coming up, it might be because there is none actually for your particular version. So in this case, it's saying, okay, we need NumPy, we need OpenCV, uh, and then here's a bunch of other stuff we need down here. Let's go ahead and hit set yes. Downloading and extracting packages now. Okay, so now we've gone ahead and extracted and added all of our packages into this particular environment. Now we want to see whether or not this worked. One, we can just type in Python right here, and it's going to launch Python for us. Here you can see right there, Python 3.6.5. The second way we can set up our environment is by going to Start, going to Anaconda again, and then going to the Anaconda Navigator right here. Now this is a graphical user interface, and it makes things a lot easier to take a look at all the different environments you have already set up, as well as creating and adding new ones. So here is the navigator. We're going to ignore this front page. We're going to go over to environments right here and click there, and you'll notice it lists all the different environments that we have. Now, I already have a couple that I've created over here for other projects using TensorFlow, so we can ignore them, but you can see that it does list all of the different ones that we have. And of course, it has the one we just created through the command line right here, OpenCV, and take a look, and it lists all of the different packages we have here. So if we wanted to, we could create a new one by clicking on Create and just saying uh, OpenCV2. Choose which version of Python we want, hit Create. And if we want to remove that, all we have to do is choose that environment and click on Remove. So never worry about things conflicting, never worry about having to deal with different versions of, of Python and different uh, versions of whatever packages you're working with. I really recommend you work in an environment like Anaconda to separate everything out. This way, the work that I'm going to be showing you using OpenCV here in this environment doesn't conflict with some of the work I'm doing with machine learning with the TensorFlow environments and so forth that I've already set up. Now there is one last thing we might want to install, and I'm going to install that through this interface, and that's by going over here to search for packages and doing matplotlib. And then instead of installed, we'll go to not installed. And then we can see right here matplotlib. I'm going to click on that and hit apply. Matplotlib is another plotting library for showing off the images we're going to bring in. While OpenCV itself can display images for us inside of a window, Matplotlib is going to have a lot more features and functionality that we can work with. So it's just a good idea to have that around. It's going to show us all the packages, as you can see here. We're going to hit Apply, and it will go ahead and install that for us. All right, it's finished. Now, if we want to, we can run this environment by clicking on the arrow right there and then choosing Open Terminal. And there we go, we have an open terminal with OpenCV running as our environment. So you now know everything necessary to begin our trek into learning about OpenCV. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. So long, goodbye.